Good morning, my beautiful people. It's Tuesday. I did not have the best sleep. Um, it's 6.38. And I woke up so much during the night last night to drink water. I'm so thirsty. I woke up now. I think the last time I woke up was about 4. I was just so thirsty and I just drank a ton of water and I'm still really thirsty. I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm just getting ready for work. I've already emptied the dishwasher. That's me just fed the cat. Um, there's apparently a storm coming, which is not great. It's due tomorrow, I believe. So, it's Storm Dudley. So, not really looking forward to that. But, oh, I don't know why I'm so thirsty. Does anyone else get like that sometimes when you like wake up in the middle of the night constantly? I think I drank three bottles of water last night and I got up and drank like a small glass of milk because sometimes I just have a hand cream for like a little glass of milk. But, it's now made my mouth feel disgusting now that I've drank that, so I feel like that was a mistake. But I have just guzzled a heap of water and it still tastes gross. Hopefully after I brush my teeth it's going to feel better. But yes, um, it's very dark outside. It still feels like the middle of the night. Ugh. I'm hoping to finish Accor this morning, but who knows. Might happen, might not happen. Lisa's sprinting tonight though, so at least tonight, by the end of the day, I'm gonna have finished that quarter either way. So that's something nice and positive for the day. Yeah, I need to get ready for work. I'll finish sorting the cats. To love that. It is almost time. Oh my God, I timed that perfectly. There we go. I am already in my pajamas and it's only seven o'clock. Lisa's sprint has just come on and I am on page 628 of Aquar and I'm gonna finish this tonight. Yes, I came home, I had a shower, I ate my tea. I just wanted it done and dusted because it's been an exhausting day at work. It was just myself there and I'm tired. So wanting to get this reading finished. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start listening to the girls because I love them all. currently sitting watching Lisa's reading sprints. I am so close to the end of Akabor, I can almost taste it, but there's just been something that happens in it that is just so intense for me. And I know that I'm gonna have to stay up until really late to read this because I cannot sleep not knowing the end of this book at this point. I have got to know. There's, I'm on what, 633? I'm so close to the end. I really need to get to it. The war side of it, I wasn't a massive fan to start with, but I am so incredibly invested at this point in the book that I just can't sleep until I get to the end of it. I just can't. And I'm really tired, but I don't care. I don't care. And I know I need to keep my energy for tomorrow because I'm at work by myself too tomorrow, but I don't care. I must know. Also, an update, my second Crescent City book, well book two of Crescent City, has been dispatched but has not appeared in Waterstones yet. I mean I've not read the first Crescent City but where's my book? Pre-orders are a nightmare. I feel like you never get pre-orders on time anymore. Everyone on Twitter and everything's posting, look at my beautiful copy of my book. I don't have it yet. <laughs> Makes me so sad. But yes, I can't sit here and talk any longer. I need to get reading because 
I need to know and I can't speak to you about it. I can't, you know, it'll be my Akawar vlog, but I don't want to spoil it for anyone. But something has happened. That's all I can say. I don't even know what to say. I've got like 30 pages left of this book and I don't even think I can take any more. Like, out of sadness and heartbreak. I obviously can't go into it, but this is really breaking my heart, reading Ak War. And I understand it's war and it's in the title, but what? I really want to cry so hard. I think I'm gonna sob like a baby when I get to the end of this book, I genuinely do. There's one more sprint left after this one, I'm hoping, because it's half past nine, so I'm really hoping that there's one more because I'm gonna finish this tonight. And I said I was gonna finish this tonight. I think I'm gonna sob so hard. And it takes a lot for me to cry a book, but I can feel it coming. Oh, so much torture, honestly. <sighs> Wish me luck. Hello. I finished Aquar. Finally, everybody's been patiently waiting. I am a slow reader, I have warned you before. It's um, 25 to 11. I knew I was gonna stay up later than I would usually. <laughs> But I did get finished. I have lots of thoughts, lots of feelings. I've just edited the last piece of my Aquar vlog, which is going to be up on Friday. So if you've read Aquar and you're following my series, you can have a wee look. It's a long one. It's about 57 minutes long. <laughs> Had a lot of thoughts and a lot of feelings. So I've rated it five stars. It's not a secret. I'm going to be posting everywhere that I've rated it five stars. Um really really enjoyed it really really intense my god that war is just so intense but um that's all i'm going to say about that tomorrow i'm starting a court of frost and starlight now after that i do plan on taking a little break because i do really need to read city of ashes and i am going to do that because i have promised i'm going to read that so i am going to take a break and it, I'm going to find it really weird going into a different world because I feel like I've been living in this world and I'm part of this world and Risan is a living, breathing person <laughs> because I'm so invested and so in it. But um, yes, I do really need to read City of Ashes and I've only got two weeks left to do that. So I'm hoping A Court of Frost and Starlight, I'm maybe going to be finished that by the end of the week. I am working a lot this week, so the chances of me getting it finished in like a day is pretty slim. So I'm aiming for to be finished by Saturday, possibly. That's my plan anyway. Automax prayer. Anyway, I hope you all have a lovely day. I'm going to load the dishwasher and go to my bed and edit this vlog and get it uploaded because I really need sleep and I'm going to regret all my life decisions in the morning if I don't go to sleep soon. See you later.